welcome to Lee Bob, everybody. Come on. Nobody got Halloween costumes on? What's going on with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? Disappointed. What are, you, what are you supposed to be? I don't know. Then what the hell? You're confused. That's what you are. <laughs> Halloween's not a real holiday, but we need more holidays. We need, like, more days off. Yeah. Congress needs to stop being lazy, stop being hacks. Give us a new federal holiday. <laughs> if I was in the government, we would get three-day weekends like every two weeks. It wouldn't make no sense to be off, be lazy or not. The days off wouldn't make any sense. The days off would just be ridiculous miscellaneous days. You still be celebrating. You going to work tomorrow, man? Nah, dude. Tomorrow is Wesley Snipes Day. What's wrong with you? I'm going to a cookout. Have some respect. Trump's been a terrible president and he's pissed a lot of people off. But if he came out tomorrow and gave us a new federal holiday, I might let bygones be bygones. I might, let, I might forgive him a little bit. If he named it Make America Great Again Day, I would be so angry about that. I would be so pissed. But I'm still not going to work on that day. Either, so. Can't be too bad. Can't be too bad. I think fighting is a waste of time. Any fighters, stop it. It's not good. Fighting is terrible. You should not do it. Honestly, I have soft hands. You can't be a threat to anybody as a man when you have soft hands. You just, nobody can stare at you and have soft hands as a man. I don't even know my hands got so soft. Just my whole life when I meet women and I shake their hand, all they say is, oh my God, your hands are so soft. Oh my God, why are your hands so soft? Oh my God, your hands are way too soft. <laughs> And I can translate that. What women are really saying there is, oh my God, this man cannot protect me if something goes down. <laughs> They're 100% correct. I am not a protector. It's not what I like. I'm not here to protect nobody. That's not what I'm here to do. Yes, Lord. Lord. He's the only one that can save you. I ain't gonna save you. <laughs> All on the Father. Yes. Yeah. You know, yes, back up. Back up. You need back up. My hands were not made for slapping and punching people. My hands are made for dialing 911. That's what my hands are made to do. That's the back we're gonna get. I got snitch fingers. They're gonna slide across touch screens with very little friction, just 911, just like that. Simple. Simple. I was watching the news the other day. Unfortunately, there was a murder that happened. Two guys were arguing, one of them ended up killing each other. And they had a witness on the news describing what he saw. He was like, yeah, man, the two dudes are arguing across the street. Next thing you know, one of them pulled out a gun, and whoop, whoop, that was it. That was all we saw. We just ran away after that. I was like, did this dude just use the sound effect? Whoop, whoop. To describe murder, was that how you chose? detail of homicide, a loss of life, a whoop whoop. <laughs> I don't really think murder when I hear the sound of that whoop whoop. When I hear whoop whoop, I think like a crazy crossover in basketball. <laughs> yeah, Steph Curry came on the court, went behind the back, whoop whoop. <laughs> Dunk on the team until everybody's dead. When I think of murder, I think of a sound effect like a bop bop or a bang bang for gunshots. More, 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 more reasonable to me. And it kind of disturbed me. I was like, this guy's storytelling game is weak. It, it needs to be improved. What other sound effects is he incorrectly using and misplacing the stories that have no business being there? But yeah, man, I went in for the job interview. They sent it like my resume. Then Gave me a job right in the spot. Gave me a position. Gave me a job. Excuse me, sir. What happened? What? I don't follow this one at all. What is that about? What happened? Crazy. 
use your sound effects correctly, people. If Starbucks are going to keep invading majority black communities, the least they can do is accept EBT and food stamps. <laughs> the, least, the least they can do be respectful of the community and accept EBT and food stamps. All you have to do, the hood deserves high priced lattes too. Just as much as the gentleman, just as much, they deserve it. I think the reason there's no Starbucks in like the hood or majority black communities is because Starbucks butchers simple names like Dan and Lisa. <laughs> Do you know how badly they would get cursed out every time they misspell a name like Carmelo or Fantasia? They would get cursed out and they would quit every four hours. It would be too tough for them. They wouldn't handle that. My name is Talib. They butcher my name every time I go into Starbucks. So much so that when I go in there now, I stop giving them my name. I don't give them my name anymore. When they ask for my order, I just give them a compliment that I would like to hear. <laughs> so now when they come to the counter, it's like, uh, I have a frappuccino here for a handsome. Is there a handsome around here? A white? Thank you. That is so nice. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. I'm Talib Bang. I'll be great. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you.